I spent $100 promoting my song using Spotify's built-in promotion tool, Spotify Showcase. In fact, I did this three times promoting three different songs, all with a $100 budget, to see first and foremost if $100 is even enough to promote your music, and secondly, if it's worth it for you compared to other marketing options. Now, if you don't know what Spotify Showcase is, you basically pay money to get a mobile banner promoting your new release for a song or album in your catalog. Spotify Showcase is very similar to like boosting a post on Instagram or Facebook. You pay the money, a lot of the settings are very much automatic so it's very quick to promote, but you don't have a lot of control over targeting. It's basically a look-alike audience for those of you who are running meta ads who know what that is. This is a look-alike audience tool that uses your existing streams, your existing listeners, and Spotify creates an audience based off of your existing data. So that's what Showcase is. And in order for us to know if Spotify Showcase is worth it for the money, we need to take a look at what that $300 would even get us if we took that to playlist promotion, for example. Or what would that $300 get us if we used it in meta ads, which is probably the most popular way to promote your music catalog on Spotify. Let's get those numbers as a reference. If we took the same $300 and for example, we went to my website and signed up for one of our custom Spotify promotion packages. And by the way, this is our most popular service. If you didn't realize that we actually help artists get into playlists, you might wanna check this out. I'll leave a link in the description below. But if you took that same $300 and you grabbed a playlist promotion package, you can get a guaranteed 10,000 streams on your song. So let's keep that number in mind as we compare. $300 can get you most likely more than 10,000 streams on your song using playlisting. I'll compare this to Spotify Showcase in a second, but let's first talk about that other marketing tactic, another very popular one using meta ads for Spotify growth. Here, in fact, is my own Spotify growth meta ads conversion campaign. And if you don't know what that is, I actually just uploaded another video covering this, and I have an entire course that teaches you every step and every setting that you need to follow to set this up the right way. So I'll also link that in the description below. But as you can see for my own music, over the last 30 days, I spent $295 in meta ads, which is almost exactly 300 bucks. So the stats that I have up on the screen right now are a perfect comparison budget per budget. And what these meta ads were able to get me is reaching over 100,000 people. Now that's just reaching them on social media through my video post that's promoting my music. But out of those 100,000 people, 1,100 of them actually clicked over to Spotify. Now those are just clicks. How many streams did those clicks generate? Well, if I head over to my Spotify for artists and I select a similar date range, 28 days is close enough, and I choose streams and filter the source of streams, to my artist profile and catalog, this will zero in on the exact place that my meta ad listeners are going to be streaming my music on my Spotify profile. And you can look at the very bottom right here and see that in the last 28 days, I got nearly 1,200 streams in just this artist profile and catalog category, which is getting traffic from this meta ad. So as you can see, there's a good correlation there. 1,100 people are providing about 1,200 streams, and that's for the same $300. You can see that playlist promotion gives you a lot more streams, but meta ads while it's fewer streams, will give you a lot more engaged person. So now let's take a look at these showcase campaigns. And as you can see, I ran these campaigns a few months ago, so now all the data is in starting August 15th. If I change the date range to include when those showcase campaigns were live, you're gonna be able to see clear as day the spike that it created in my analytics. And here it is. There is that spike from the Spotify showcase campaigns. I started all of these on the same date, and they all finished very quickly in a short amount of time, around three days. And just clicking through all these categories really quick, the listeners, the streams correlated, the saves correlated to this date range. The playlist ads didn't really correlate that much. You can see this bump here in playlist ads, but I have a similar size bump over here as well. And followers especially did not correlate. Just as a quick aside, I don't think these showcase campaigns really translate into followers very well at all, especially compared to meta ads. But already some conclusions I'm drawing is that Spotify showcase is really great at getting your music heard with a fast turnaround, and it's also good at getting saves 
on your songs. But is it worth the price? Let's look at the exact data now inside of each campaign. How does it compare with the 10,000 streams I would get with playlist promotion and how that would compare with the 12,000 streams and followers and song saves that I would have gotten with meta ads. Let's dive in song by song, campaign by campaign. First, for my song, Home, $100 gave me a reach of 15,000 people. 500 of those people clicked and it only converted 249 listeners. Those 249 listeners added me to seven playlists and only saved my song 20 times. Now, my honest thoughts on this is I don't think this is very good at all, but the performance did change song over song and Home was my lowest performer compared to my other two songs, Taking Over Me and Broken. Let's start comparing by only looking at the save rate. For Home, I had a 5.22% save rate. For Taking Over Me, it's a whole percentage point higher, 6.82. And for my song, Broken, it is way higher, 12.25%. And if I arrange my windows comparing all of these side by side, they all have a similar reach. They all have a similar number of clicks. But if we scroll down to the performance details, this is where the biggest difference occurs. And just as a takeaway that you can keep in your mind, the song makes a huge difference in how effective and worth it this Spotify showcase campaign is. And that brings us to the sponsor of this video, Lander. For the past three years, I've been recommending Lander distribution to artists who need a professional suite of tools to produce, master, and distribute their music all while retaining 100% of their music royalties. So when Lander noticed my channel and asked to sponsor this video, I was more than happy to continue spreading the good news about Lander distribution. They do so much more than just get your music onto streaming services like Spotify and Apple Music, because with Lander, you get everything you need to produce and release your music, including samples, plugins, unlimited distribution, and the world's best AI mastering engine. Plus, meet with your team anywhere in the world with real-time music collaboration collaboration software and tap the talents of a community of pros to take your music to the next level. All of this is included inside of Lander Studio. Now, if you already have a music distributor, but you're looking to upgrade, Lander accepts outside ISRC codes, so moving your catalog is a breeze. Plus, they will collect the YouTube content ID royalties for all of your songs. So if you're thinking it's time to upgrade your distributor, then click the link in the description below to get 20% off your Lander Studio account. And then you could cancel all those multiple subscriptions and enjoy everything you need to produce and release your music with Lander Studio. And now, back to the video. If you look at the intent rate, the playlist ad rate, and the song save rate, my song Broken outperformed in every category, probably because this song is just better and has catchier production and maybe a better intro. But honestly, if I was to guess which one of my songs would have performed the best, it would be hard to know because my other song, Taking Over Me, I think has a very similar production style and is also an upbeat tempo. So if I was to guess, I would have maybe guessed wrong with a 50-50 shot. That's why using data in your marketing is so important. That's why Meta Ads is such a great tool because Meta Ads is all data driven and you're able to make these decisions all the time based off of data. So what's our conclusion here? Spending $100 per song using Spotify Showcase, $300 total, what did that get us, especially compared to the other promotion styles? Well, in short, this got us the least. The number of listeners was only about 750 across all three songs, and the number of song saves was only about 100 total across all three songs. There's a lot to dive in here that I'm not covering, but if you take the number of streams per listener and multiply that by the listeners, you'll get the total streams that this campaign provided across your whole catalog. So that would be 249 times 1.3. And you can see that these 245 listeners gave us 323 streams. That's gonna be a similar number for this middle campaign and an even higher number for my best performing campaign. If I do the same thing, 253 times 1.63, this is almost 400 streams provided by this campaign. So we're at about a thousand streams for $300. Let's remind ourselves how that compares with our meta ads campaign. 
Pulling this back on screen, our meta ads campaign provided us a very similar number of streams, around 1,000 or 1,200 to be more exact, across the entire month. And just to be clear, this does not overlap with any other campaign. I changed the date range. What we are viewing right now is in October and I ran my showcase campaign back in August. But meta ads provide a lot more song saves and a lot more playlist ads. These are not curator playlists, these are fans dragging my song to their own playlist. So these are almost like a song safe, also just a different version of it on the Spotify app. And Meta Ads provided nearly 62 more profile followers, when in comparison, my showcase campaigns, weirdly enough, didn't provide any profile followers at all. So I think the similarities and differences there are very interesting. And obviously the biggest difference is if you move forward with a playlist campaign, you're gonna get a ton more streams. You're gonna get 10 times more streams for the same budget. Of course, this makes sense because playlisting is a very different type of marketing. This is an influencer marketing campaign, whereas the others are a direct marketing style of campaign. So what that does is it brings a different type of listener, it brings a different type of engagement level, and it's just a different way to promote your music. So obviously it makes sense that this would be the outlier. So now that we looked at all of that, is $100 enough to promote a song? And I think, well, there's really three different takeaways that I wanna leave with you after looking at all of this data. If you are someone with only $100 to promote a song, Spotify Showcase is actually a great option if you already have listeners on your Spotify. This is very important to understand. Spotify Showcase only uses your existing data and your existing streams to target your fans. So if you don't have enough listeners at all, this tool actually isn't available to you. But if you do have this tool unlocked and you throw $100 in to basically boost your song on Spotify, it's actually pretty worth it because you don't have to go through the rigorous meta ad setup that actually takes some time. It's really worth it and I cover it in my meta ads course. I'll link that in the description below. But it takes some time to set up your meta ads ecosystem and you have to run some warm up campaigns which takes additional budget beyond the $100 that you're gonna use to send people to Spotify. So there's a lot more involved there. If you want something quick and you want to spend your $100 promoting your song easily, then Spotify Showcase actually is a great tool for that. Now, if you just increase your budget a little bit to $300, you're going to actually enter into playlisting territory. Playlisting is influencer marketing. If you go through our company, we help you partner with an influencer and we pay them an influencer marketing fee with that budget, right? If you use Spotify Showcase, that budget goes directly to Spotify and they just boost you. If you use meta ads, your budget goes to Mark Zuckerberg and the Meta Ads platform. And with Spotify playlisting, your budget goes towards paying an influencer to push and promote your song with their audience. Increasing your budget just a little bit from $100 to $300 gets you into that influencer marketing territory and you can jump from getting just 1,000 streams with Showcase and with Meta Ads to getting 10,000 streams and beyond. I've covered Spotify playlisting in depth on this channel and of course I have more videos planned so be sure to subscribe but there's a lot to dig into with Spotify playlisting, how it fits into your overall strategy, how to approach it in the best way. All of that's covered on this channel, so I would urge you to check out the other videos that I've posted in the past. But my third and final conclusion that I just wanna leave with you is that I would not solely focus on one strategy because as you saw in today's comparison, you get completely different results depending on which completely different approach you use. And what I do for my clients and what I do for myself and my own music is I am sure to use a variety of different marketing methods together so that my results are balanced and I'm getting growth in every key category. Listeners, streams, saves, playlist ads, and followers. I actually posted one of the lessons from my course right here on YouTube and you can watch that video right here and it'll show you my exact settings for how I set up my meta campaigns to promote music on Spotify. Check it out by clicking right here and I'll see you in the next video.